color purple and stuff. It's like, when you think about it, chicken, chicken must have been tripping. Suppose <laughs> <laughs> well, you woke up one morning and you was color purple and somebody was looking at you. <laughs> you have to trip. So, <laughs> that sounds like one of my dates. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> yeah, I've been on a date till you go to sleep in Denver and wake up in LA. <laughs> you have been on a date. Okay. The next paragraph, paragraph five, okay? Only 30 minutes I had. Isn't that interesting? <laughs> oh, the chicken story. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Very extreme way. You're not aware of no past. You don't know what you don't know. That's right, you don't miss what you don't know. You don't know what you missed. But it's time to find out. I am here to break you in. To crack that armor of your ability to receive. To get your little holes drilled through your heart so some love can seep through. Then it's where love do it goes through the little hole. And then <laughs> this is, you all are giving this all the men in your head. <laughs> not blame for your thoughts. All I said is a little thing went into a little hole. That's all I said. You took it from there. Is this a chicken story? <laughs> and, 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 and then your heart opens from the inside because you can't keep somebody out that's already in. Okay. So I got my little chicken. His name was Jim. Yeah. It's true story. My chicken, my little chicken named Jim. And me and Jim, we did everything. <laughs> My tactic, Jim, right? Jim's right there with me. You know what I'm saying? If I'm, you know, if I'm, if I'm playing with worms, Jim's right there. So I watched Jim grow to a very strong rooster chicken. Big chin stuck out. He could, he could crow like nobody you could ever imagine. I like sleeping in the bed, thinking about, you know, some type Beverly Hillbillies or something, you know? <laughs> and then you hit Jim. <laughs> Jim was going to be the next meal. Take a breath. You are going to believe this story. It's going to affect your perception of me. I know what I'm going to do. She encouraged me to go ahead. Trust, trust, trust. She, she was also imitating Jim. So guess what you thought? Grab Jim by the neck. Mm -hmm. Wrong his neck. That's how you kill chickens. Mm -hmm. And I was well, that's when I saw it. Because as long as you think as long as you think death is real, it's hard to laugh at. If you're a person that thinks you're going to die, you don't have much <laughs> You don't have much death here. Yeah. So when people do death jokes, you're like, oh, see, I can't say it about Jim. He couldn't, he couldn't laugh about Jim. Jim died. See, that's always the sign of a person that doesn't know the truth. 
Because a person who knows the truth knows no one dies. And if it even appears like someone dies, it's because they chose to leave at that moment and leave a message behind for those who are still here. They're dry, they dying in a plane crash, but everybody knows who's staying that the engine needs to be worked on. <laughs> <laughs> But they were going. To, but they was leaving anyway. Because it was, they, you know, it was going to, so they just want some people to like drama, like do it dramatically. That's why. That's why y'all so afraid about how you're going to die. Because you know how much drama you keep going. <laughs> so you think you might have a dramatic death too. Do everything else with a lot of drama. How did that hit nine diseases? <laughs> Yo, we just drama. He was on his way to his course class. He was wiped out by a mad truck. See, that's drama. See how dramatic that would be? The course teacher would be. That would be the course class. That would be good print. So I went through that, seeing that happen, but I just cannot pass up my mother's fried chicken. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I was <laughs> the thing my mama could do with fried chicken. And, you know, Jim, it's always gone. You know, I got to bring this back to you. And some people are appalled. I took a Jim. He ate Jim. Jim had chosen to go, and he wanted to leave me a meal. <laughs> That's all that happened. Can you dig it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Nobody that's died has died. There's not a relative you love that has died that has died. It's just that we believe that there are bodies, so we think they have died, and we don't believe we can communicate beyond death. And since you don't believe it, you don't perceive it. That's the way the law works. So it looks like you're not in contact with those who are out of the body. But they're much more out of the body than in the body. So you have much more invisible assistance than you can ever even imagine. But your belief it doesn't exist keeps you from being able to avail yourself of the invisible ins assistance. Yeah. Wow. That's so true. What benefit is it to believe that there are no invisible forces that benefit us? Tell me the payoff in believing you're the only one and you don't know what the hell to do. <laughs> Tell me the advantage, don't wait. Isn't it a trip that we do something that we, we don't even know? Don't even make no sense to us. But here is the rock of salvation. Whenever you become afraid, say this to yourself whether you believe it or not. Which is going to be kind of a challenge for some people. You, would, you say, I cannot lose. I cannot lose. I cannot lose. You hear some people, that's a double negative. <laughs> don't say a double negative. The, the double negative police will come get you. <laughs> you know what's so powerful in saying I cannot lose? You finally clearly understand what you mean when you say I can only win. Yeah. Because you keep saying stuff like I am free. I am free. Well, that's the same as saying I am not limited. And then you get your reality check immediately. <laughs> I love you. 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 Of course, we say, I have absolutely no fear of you in any way. I have absolutely no secrets with you in any way. I have absolutely no anger with you in any way. See how different that is than just saying, I love you. I love you. I love you. All of a sudden, I got a reality check, didn't you? Absolutely no fear whatsoever of you. Well, how can you tell if you have some? It's to the degree that you feel free to communicate. But in a special relationship, as we do special relationships, the last person you honestly communicate with is the person you're in a special relationship with. That's why you tell all your friends what's really going on. <laughs> <laughs> That's the price they pay for getting your body. <laughs> or giving it. 
It just has a secret from each other. In most cases, if you think that you're a body, then you're afraid of loss. <coughs> and because you're afraid of loss, you may be tempted to compromise your integrity and your principles. You can never be honest with somebody you're afraid of. Because you don't believe it would be safe. And your safe would mean more.